This is Dawn Olszewski and welcome to another episode of How'd She Do That? And today I'm just going to do a quick tip on how to do Get This Distressing on um, cardstock and designer series paper. If you're interested in this um, focal point, it's the mosaic technique and I have a separate video on that. So be sure to visit um, DoStampinWithDawn.com So let's get started. What you need is um, Stampin' Up's Cutter Kit and it has four tools on it. So let me come in close. I'm going to show you each of these tools just real quick. This is the scissors, but um, don't be fooled by the actual um, scissor type on here. Let me get it out. It's actually a rotary blade. You can barely see it here, but you would probably use a straight edge and then run this across it. All right. And then this one is a bone folder, and same thing on this one. It looks like a rotary blade, um, but it doesn't cut. It's going to give you an indentation. So you'll use a straight edge and do that as well. Pull it towards yourself. And then the last one, you can see here, is um, perforated edge. So it is a rotary blade as well. I'm going to come really close on that. If you, oops, no, we just went out of focus. There we go. And you can see that it has got those little divots in it, I'll call it, and that gives you that perforated edge. Same thing, it works a lot just like the scissors and the bone folder. It just will um, do your straight edge and pull it towards yourself. However, the last one is the distressor, and the most common question that I get about this is that, um, are why all these different grooves? Well, I don't have an answer for you on that, because they all do the exact same thing. They distress your paper. So um, no groove has a special little different thing that it does. It all does the same thing. So what you want to do is you want to take your paper, and I'm grabbing that because um, I'm right-handed. I'm holding the cutter kit in my right hand, my paper in the left, and I run it into the groove, and I drag it. It's a lot like, you know, the your fingernails on the chalkboard. So for some people, you may not enjoy doing this, and others, um, this is like one of their favorite techniques. So you can see what's happening is that it starts to um, distress those edges, okay? And so you don't need a very strong hand to do this um, when you're doing it on design series paper. Um, just run it across there, and maybe even on this side you can really, you can see that, yeah, a little bit better. So, um, then on cardstock, however, you do want to use a pretty firm hand because as cardstock is a heavier weight, it's going to take a little more muscle to get that distressed edge. There you go. So there you go. There's a quick tip for you today on how to use Stampin' Up's Cutter Kit, particularly the distressing tool. So I hope you enjoyed that. Visit me at Do Stampin' with Dawn for more creative ideas. Thank you.